Hello, Rupa here from Crafters Corner. It's Thursday and I'm back with another plate play. And uh, this week's highlight is going to be Mod Podge. So what's new about Mod Podge? Last week we did uh, Crackle with Mod Podge. Today I'm going to discuss about another type of Mod Podge. Apart from being a glue and sealer, this Mod Podge can give an antique finish and heirloom kind of finish to your decoupage products. And that is nothing other than the antique matte mod podge so it's basically just the like any other regular mod podge but yes basic difference being the color this is your regular mod podge which is pure white and uh, this is the antique matte which as you can see a creamish shade that's the basic difference to the eye so this tint in the mod podge is what going to antique your project so we will be using this Mod Podge to adhere the tissue and also to seal the tissue and give the top finish to your decoupage. So let's get started. I am not going to use this Mod Podge at all today for this project. So the antique mat is what we are going to use in combination with chalk paints and multi-surface paints. And what we are going to recycle today is a pill bottle. It's a plastic bottle. Yes, so we will recycle this and it gives me great pleasure to recycle plastic. As you all know, this is what fills up the landfill. So next time you recycle a plastic bottle, feel proud. Give a pat on my behalf. Because it is clean the bottle and then given a coat of my favorite sheepskin. Yes, so whether it is plastic or glass or any surface, if you are using chalk paints, there is no need to give a coat of gesso. Yeah tissue cut already so this is what I'm planning to adhere the tissue here like this so what we need to do is just like you use your regular Mod Podge give a thin coat each one has a different way of adhering the tissue this is my way of doing it I apply the Mod Podge and then place the tissue I have done a tutorial before with the wallets as to how I adhere my tissue and then I take a plastic cover and then give it a good press so you can see when you adhere the Mod Podge itself it's a little creamish unlike your regular white Mod Podge so that is what forms the base and gives the antique finish slowly peel off the plastic cover there you go and now what I am going to do is seal the edges and just delicately pushing the tissue to crease away any air bubbles okay so it's already getting an antique look the slight creamish undertone so all the small bits that you have you can use up this is a small pill bottle you will see in the end what I'm going to use this as as of now you might think that I'm just decoupaging this pill bottle for a decorative purpose now there's going to be a small surprise at the end so let's dry this I'm done with the tissue adhering part dry now absolutely and the level of antiqueness is going to be on how many times you're going to coat this with the antique mod podge right now this is probably a very pale cream color hmm? so I'm going to give one more coat now to seal it the tissue from the top project is definitely one of my favorites so that's the second coat there which is on the top first coat on the top yes sorry so the first time we did was we applied it and adhered the tissue now that the tissue is dry I've applied a top coat with the antique mat yes the top coat takes a little time be patient so this protects your tissue now so you can go about layering your colors stenciling stamping to any of your decoupage products you can do it after this coat of 
mod podge and then once you're done with your stenciling and painting and stamping you can straight away varnish the project depending on how you're going to use the project it so is use multi-surface turf that's the multi-surface color and then i'm using summer porch here right I'm going to use the mini daubers from Clade. You get the set of daubers, which is excellent for blending in small areas like this. Lay the colors and start blending. Okay. I have some approach here. You can get all these products from Crafters Corner, the Antique Mat Mod Podge or the Mini Daubers from Plaid. It's all available. So I'm just dabbing in the color, just filling up all the gaps that is there. Implement the tissue. The main art of decoupage is blending the cutout, paper cutout or the tissue to your background so that the tissue blends the background and doesn't look like a separate piece so that's precisely what we are trying to do let me dry that now i'm going to take my archival inks i have these mini archival inks these are also from crafters corner you get them in this tiny little pads so easy to use and so economical you get them in a set of four four colors and i think this color complements the tissue so i'm going to do some script stamping i have the script stamp here so let's go about doing that like i said we need to blend the tissue now to the background a little bit of stamping there and what I'm going to do after this is some very very subtle color splats too no project is complete without brown right so there is my toothbrush I have an old toothbrush here just slightly watery and then Let's see. Subtle splats. This is another way of filling up spots in your projects. You use a brush, you get different kind of. And this is different. So there you go. Now I'm going to give two more coats of the antique mat and you will see the depth in the level of the antique finish to the project. It's dry. I'm going back to my antique mat mod podge. So let me give one coat now. dry this the second coat is dry I'm going to go about giving one more coat and then I'm going to seal it with varnish why because this is not going to be just a decorative item I had told you to guess what could be the end result of this plastic bottle so yes, this is going to be used in my kitchen as a shaker bottle. Yes, so you could use this as a 
pepper, salt or your atta shaker for making rotis and chapatis. So that's going to be the end result of this decoupaged antique matte bottle. I will show you. I have just done two more of this. So this is three coats now of the antique matte. I'm going to show you the other two bottles after I do the uh, final touches to this. So you can do a comparison on how the antique matte looks with different coats. Let me just come back. So as that bottle is drying up, I have just dried it up with three coats of Mod Podge and I have let it dry with a coat of satin varnish. Yes, this is the plaid uh, varnish. I have just given one coat of that to the bottle and it's drying. Meanwhile, I wanted to show you what I've done to the lid. So here is the lid for the pill uh, bottle. I used a drill gun to drill out some holes onto this so that it can be used as a shaker. And then I have some alcohol inks here with the dauber. So I'm going to use some alcohol inks to color the lid. So we've used, this is going to be permanent again. Dab. It's taken colors again complementary to the tissue there and then I'm dabbing it. Okay, so I'm done with drying this bottle and then I've just tied a paper cord there. So that's how the antique matte finished bottle looks. I have other two bottles which I have done. There's one bottle and then there's one more. Okay, so this is how it goes. This is one, this is two and this is three. That's the number of coats that I have given. So you can see the difference between one and two. A little bit of depth here in the coloring, the coloration of the project as such using two coats. This is just one coat. That's two coats and then this is three coats little more darker but for you to know the difference between the antique mat and the regular Mod Podge I want to show you this is how the tissue looks white and this is how it gets to look after you do the antique mat and mind you this is just one coat so that's the kind of brownish tint that you get when you use the antique mat Mod Podge okay so that's the difference here and yes the antique Mod Podge is going to show up only when you do light colors on light colored tissues and the background being light color that's when the antique shade is going to show up for you so try this this is going to really make your projects look vintage without any efforts yes so as you are mod podging i think your project is going to have that vintage look antique look give it a try and let me know thank you for watching my YouTube channels and showering your comments and likes to my tutorials and then giving them a try. Do subscribe if you haven't done so. I will see you soon with another project. Bye bye. As always, I have some pictures in the end. Do look at them. Thank you.